Hey guys, it's Bums. I recently received a request to make an Anna Tips and Tricks video, so here's my guide for you all. Before we start with specific tips, I'm going to go over my custom settings on Anna. The sensitivity that I run on all my heroes is 800 dpi for my mouse and 3% sensitivity in game. As long as you have adequate mouse pad space, the lower sensitivity you have, the better because it gives you more control over your aim. I currently run a green dot crosshair so that my crosshair doesn't take up too much space on my screen. Crosshairs are just for preference, so use whatever works best for you. Relative aim sensitivity when zoomed is a setting specifically for when you are aiming down sights. I have mine set to 30% to match my sensitivity when I'm unzoomed. This means that my sensitivity is the same whether I'm aiming down sights or shooting hip fire. This helps to keep my aim consistent and more reliable. Nano Boost Requires Confirmation is an interesting setting. I've tried using it in past seasons to experiment with the feature, but found that it wasn't to my liking. Therefore, I have it set to off. Benefits of turning nano confirmation on is that you're your able to nano your teammates if they go out of your LOS. This means that you can nano your teammates through walls. The downside is that nano confirmation requires more time to activate and in some team fights, a few seconds could win you or lose you the game. Lastly, nano boost sensitivity determines how large of a radius you have to nano a target. The higher the percentage, the larger the radius. I have my setting set to 100% so that it's easier for me to land my nano target. All right, now that we've got our settings all set up, Let's learn some tips and tricks that will help to improve your Anna gameplay. Number one, as Anna, the most important thing you can do for your team is position yourself in a way that will keep you alive while having LOS of your teammates. General positioning tips I can give are to prioritize taking the high ground, playing behind your team, and using corners or walls to keep yourself from taking unnecessary damage. In the near future, I will be making a video of all the best positions for Anna on every map available in competitive. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you're notified when this video comes out. Number 2. Combating Dive Heroes Frequently, I get asked what a player can do when they constantly get dove on and killed in the backline. My best advice is to be aware of where these dive heroes are, or where they could be, Take note of how many there are and save your sleep for when they dive you. For example, let's say the enemy team has a Winston. You know this monkey is going to dive you because, well, you're the Anna, one of the biggest threats for their team. Now, let's say the monkey dives you. He drops his bubble. You have sleep. Now go into that bubble that the monkey is hiding in and use that sleep dart to immobilize him and reposition yourself closer to your team so that they can help you. I frequently see players using their sleep darts too early, hitting the bubble, and completely missing the monkey. Don't be afraid to take a little bit of damage if it means saving your life. You are the cornerstone of the team. If you die, the team dies. Another way to combat dive heroes is to stay near your team. Typically, I would recommend staying in the back as Anna to keep yourself safe while having LOS of your teammates. However, if the enemy is diving you and you need help, it's best to stay near your teammates so that they can peel for you as well as heal you. Peeling means that your teammates take the damage for you so that you take less damage in a situation where an enemy is diving you. Now, let's say for example, the enemy team is full dive. They have Diva, Genji, Tracer, Kiriko, and Lucio. At this point, there's little your teammates can do to keep you alive and in the fight if you get dove on by three or four heroes. This is the time to swap. I know we all love playing Anna, and she's an incredibly rewarding hero to play, but if you're continuously dying, you're only hindering your team. I would recommend swapping to a hero that has movement abilities so that you can keep up with the enemy dive comp. That was a lot. Let's quickly summarize tip number two. To combat dive, you need to be aware of where the enemy dive heroes are, 
know how many dive heroes are on the enemy team. Use your sleep dart for when these heroes dive you. Stay near your team so that they can peel for you. And swap to a different hero if you keep dying. Number three, understanding scoped versus unscoped shooting. Scoped shooting is when you're aiming down sights. Important things to know about scope shooting is that you leave a bullet trail when you shoot that can reveal your location. This means that enemies can track you based solely on your bullets. Additionally, aiming down sights is hit scan, meaning your bullets have no travel time. Therefore, the second you shoot, the bullet lands. Lastly, when you're scoped in or aiming down sights, you have a 65% reduced movement speed. This can make you more vulnerable to dive comps. One way to combat this is quick scoping, which I'll go over in tip number four. Unscoped shooting does not leave a bullet trail. However, these bullets are projectile bullets, meaning they have travel time. Both scoped and unscoped do the same amount of damage and healing, which are 70 damage when shooting enemies and 70 healing when shooting allies. This means that you're able to 3-tap enemies who have 200 health. Number 4. Quick Scoping To quick scope, scope in, shoot, and unscope all in a quick motion. The benefits to learning this technique are that you won't experience the 65% reduced movement speed mentioned earlier, and you'll be able to shoot hit scan shots with precise aim since you are scoped in for that brief moment. Join a custom and a paintball game to practice quick scoping. The code for this custom game is 1DMTZ. In this game mode, you get punished for hard scoping. Therefore, it builds muscle memory to help you learn to quick scope. Number five, using your sleep dart effectively. Your sleep dart is one of your most powerful weapons. You can use this ability to save yourself from dive, as explained earlier, cancel ultimate abilities, and slow down the enemy team's push. I typically use my sleep dart to focus tanks because they're the easiest to hit and one of the most important heroes on the enemy team. The downside of sleeping the tank is that the sleep timer is reduced from 10 seconds to 5 seconds, but regardless, that 5 seconds is still worth it. You can practice your sleep darts using some really great custom codes created by the community. The ones I recommend trying are ZKMC1, which is a Genji sleep dart practice, and TKBR3 an aim trainer that works really well for both practicing aim and practicing to land sleep darts. Number six, anti, anti, anti. I always see beginner Anna players making the mistake of using their nades primarily to heal their teammates. While this is an effective way to heal, it's more important to use nades aggressively to attack the enemy team and negate any healing they can receive from their supports. It's also important to note that anti-counter support ultimates like Zenyatta Transcendence and Moira Coalescence. Number 7. Track Suzu. On the topic of the importance of antiing the enemy, Kiriko's ability, Suzu or Cleanse, is the counter to anti. Do your best to track when the enemy Kiriko uses their cleanse so that you can get value when you anti the enemy. Number 8. Reload Cancel Reload canceling is when you cancel the reload animation by interrupting the animation using melee or abilities. You can cancel your reload as Anna with melee, nade, sleep dart, and even your nano if you time it correctly. Reload canceling only saves you a couple of seconds total in game, so it's up to you whether or not you implement this in your gameplay. I just think it's a cool feature that's available. And that's all the tips. If you have any questions or need clarification, feel free to ask me below in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to help me grow as a content creator. Thank you for your constant support. Bye!